shows the size of an overnight fire in Trenton. Four houses go up in flames as dozens of firefighters scramble to gain an upper hand. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore has details of the fire and the search for a cause. The fire was very scary last night. Big, a lot of black smoke. Cell phone video captured intense flames coming from these four homes on the 400 block of Brunswick Avenue on Sunday night. Authorities say they're vacant. Somebody banged on my door. Dion Morrison was asleep next door when the fire broke out a little after 11 o'clock. To be woken up and be escorted out by the cops and the, um, the Trent Fire Department, I want to thank them because they got us out in record time. Her home, though, one of two occupied buildings near the fire, damaged by smoke or water, according to firefighters. Now Morrison, her three children, plus two of her upstairs neighbors, are left wondering. I just want to know if it's safe to go home. Not for now, according to officials. Battling the flames was no easy task. The whole city of Trenton that responded to this fire. A firefight neighbors believe may have been avoided. We called the mayor office and we let them know it's a lot of homeless people staying in these abandoned houses. No one never comes out. No one ever does anything. And then a fire happens. The main thing that the people in this little block was concerned about was the abandoned buildings. We are working in concert with uh, state and county officials um, to make sure that there is an inventory of vacant homes, that they're regularly inspected, and that when we notice that they've been broken into, uh, to make sure that those homes are secured. According to authorities, one firefighter suffered minor injuries. No one else was hurt. The fire's under investigation. In Trenton, Crystal Cranmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News.